tracing objects is very easy in ArtCam, providing you follow a few simple rules. For the easiest tracing, use a black and white image. A colour image can be used, but you will have to do a few more operations. A full colour photograph will not work using this method because the software has to trace around one colour and you will not be able to merge the colours in a photograph in order to pick the colour to trace around. In this example, I have imported a black and white image. To trace around this, I am going to use a tool called the Bitmap to Vector tool, which is located on the top toolbar. This tool traces around one colour to give an outline. Before you select Create Vectors, it is very important that you reduce the colours because this image still has 256 colours in it. If you do not reduce the colours, the Bitmap to Vector tool will create the vectors on the primary colour, which in this case is a shade of black. In order to do this properly, the colours need to be merged into one to trace around, and this can be done by selecting Reduce Colours. This is a black and white image, so the colours can be merged down to two colours, so it's just black and white. And now when Create Vectors is selected, it will create the vectors and not follow the jagged edges of the image. If I zoom in on the part of the eye, you can see that there is a section of the image where the vector has not been created. This is because of the speckle size. The speckle size is like a pixel tolerance. The part of the image that is missing is one pixel. So because this is set to two pixels, when the vectors are generated, it is ignoring this section. This would need to be set to zero, so it is less than one, in order to produce a vector around the pixel. This can also work to eliminate vectors being created for certain areas. In this instance, I'm not sure how many pixels there are in the two large areas of the image, so I'll try to set that to five and create the vectors. I need to make it even higher, so let's try 10. Here you can see that the vectors have not been created for the areas above the main section. The smoothness obviously affects how smooth the vectors are going to be. The lower the value, the more angular and straight the lines are going to be. The higher, the smoother. To be completely honest, 99% of the time, I tend to leave these settings at a speckle size of 2 and a smoothness of 75. This setting is the optimum setting. To trace around colour images, the same process is used, but there are a few extra steps that are needed in order to get the best results. Again, select the bitmap to vector tool and reduce the colours. This time, if I bring it down to two colours, the colours will not merge properly. In this case, what needs to be done is to bring colour back into the image. So coming back to four colours will bring all of the colours back. So there is purple, orange, blue and black. If I just wanted to create vectors around this logo, I could select the black colour and create vectors. But what I can also do is select individual colours to create vectors around. For this example, I'm going to actually bring it back up to five colours and show you how to blend two colours together. In this example, there is an ellipse below the logo in another shade of black. To blend them together into one black colour, so that the colour that you want to keep as the primary colour by left clicking and then select the secondary colour, the one that you want to change by right clicking on it. The colours can then be linked together to create one colour by selecting the very small chain icon which is located on the top right of the primary and secondary colours. The two colours will then have a line going between them to denote they are linked. Linked colours can be unlinked if needed by right clicking on the colours and then resetting the links. To create vectors for this, select purple as the primary colour and then create vectors. Do the same for orange and blue, which will then give you the vectors for the logo.